Well, good afternoon, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I'm actually in the outdoor studio here um, right now. Actually, the lighting is really good because we're about to get some thunderstorms that are going to be rolling through here, so it's kind of cloudy at the moment. So I need to get this in before it rains. It's actually nice because you can feel the temperature drop because it was in like 92, 93 degrees. All of a sudden now it's kind of feeling kind of crisp. And I think that's that front that's coming in. That's about to rain, rain hell on me. And speaking of raining hell, you know the thing about the Cowboys, I don't want to say this, but I have to say it. One of the problems with the Cowboys is we've been soft. Demarcus Lawrence in 2020 kind of summed it up and he said, you know, we're playing soft. When you think about us getting ready for the playoffs, and Mike McCarthy said the guys were nervous, I think what the Cowboys have done is they've gone out and realized we have to change the mentality here. We need, quote unquote, some dogs. We need some guys here that are ready to fight and scrap. Guys, that won't back down from a fight. To give you an example, if you don't know what I mean about dogs, when you think about how San Francisco came into our house playing music with no fear whatsoever and came in and smacked us in the mouth, that's being a dog. That's being ready for a fight. That means not backing down. I believe the Cowboys have actually gone through this year in this draft and they've made changes in guys that are going to have a fight guys that we're going to look at and say yeah they got some dog in them and one of these guys that you really and truly look at and say oh i love this is tyler smith you know when the draft happened we as fans of course who Tyler Smith, you know, we heard about the, uh, the, the physical um, problem that he had in the leg growing up. You know, we heard about the penalties and things like that. And immediately people are just, you know, off of the bandwagon. He's, you know, going to be crap, typical Dallas Cowboys, blah, 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 blah. But I want you to think about where we were last year with what they said our draft was. At the Dallas Cowboys, some people gave us a C, C plus. I think Skip Bayless gave us a C minus. Pro Football Focus gave us a B. Well, they're having revisionist history, and now they're looking around and saying, ah, actually, that was an A draft. Micah Parsons was really good. OC is actually pretty decent. And they've got some guys that will probably get a lot of playing time, like Goldston. Like maybe Kevin Joseph, if he stays out of jail and doesn't get suspended by the NFL. Jabril Cox. You look back and say, that was actually a good draft. And I'm hoping that this time next year we're saying the same thing. So I'm actually going to start doing one of those things that I normally don't do much of, which is actually doing a little bit of film study. And here we have, and shout out to the scout, because they've done all the work here for them, and I want to make sure I give them credit. But looking at Tyler Smith he is a dog he is a beast and that boy that, that boy can play so the great thing is we got him right here in the box 56 the problem for them wasn't Tyler Smith it was the other people around here and when you watch him block people he is physical he is aggressive and he is mean he is like a Larry Allen in my mind, Larry Allen was strong, he was physical, and he was going to put a hurting on you. Let's watch some of this clip here. So watch him go ahead and taking on the end. Look at this. Engages, and look at this. Look at this. You see those legs, those feet keep chopping. He doesn't stop moving. He is literally going to take you and throw you. Look at this. Now, this is good because you're looking at him going up the field here and getting to the second level. That was the problem we had with Connor McGovern. Connor McGovern could not get to the second level and deal with linebackers. And see, this is important because the linebackers, the way defenses are designed, the linebacker is there to scrape and make the plays. 
It's the defensive linemen that are supposed to keep them from getting the second level. Now watch what he does with the linebacker here. Look at this. Get out of there. Look at that. Knocks him down and then goes on top of him. Let, let's go back a little bit because that's just a thing of beauty. Okay? Let's watch it again. Watch it. Look at it. Boom. Get out the way. Takes him down. Look at this. Defensive end. Look at this. I'm going to throw you. He loves to throw guys. Look at this. Look at that drive blocking. He does not give up. He is going to take you out the pitcher. He took my man down on his knees. Look at that. that that's just amazing strength. He, it, look at the, oh my God. Look at the size. Look at that. It is amazing the power that he has. Now, he is young. He is raw. And he's being moved down the guard, much like we had um, Zach Martin. Zach Martin started out as a tackle from college, and we shifted him to guard. And now he can still play tackle, but really doesn't want to play tackle. If we can get physicality back on the offensive line, and here's where it works out well, I'm not so much worried about losing Connor Williams. As much as we've heard Connor Williams going gone from the Cowboys, Connor Williams, the Cowboys have a hole. I'm not worried about left guard right now. Right now, having Tyron Smith, the big guy right next to him, Smith and Smith, the law firm, they will be putting your ass in court and in jail. They are going to put a hurting on you. My bigger concern is if and when Tyron Smith gets injured because that has always been the problem. Our team offense was going great until Tyron Smith got hurt. Once Tyron Smith got hurt, and we ended up taking Terrence Steele and moving him over to take over for Tyron Smith, and then Lyle Collins back at tackle, the offensive line was not there. Between that and Zeke and Tony Pollard and their injuries, the offense went from being, and, and Dak Prescott being an MVP candidate, being the number one offense that was blowing people out, to just being an average offense. The key on this season is going to be a guy like Tyler Smith. And as we watch, look at this. I want you to watch. Oh, this is not. Look at this. Wrong, excuse me, wrong player. Let's go down the field here, sorry. You watch Tyler Smith. If I can get this going again. Watch him pull and reach. Watch this. Th this is where you look at it and say the possibilities for this offense. Go ahead. Boom. He seals off. Seals off. Boom. And gets that lane. This guy is an absolute positive beast. Look at this. Seals off. Gets his hips turned around. Gets his hips turned around. And when you can get your ass... Between the defender and the ball carrier, good things are going to happen. Look at this. Boom. Every time, he walls off and gets the guy out of the play. Unbelievable. So, yes, the Cowboys, they struck gold getting this guy. Watch him hook. This is one of the harder blocks to do. See how he hooks? You see that? Did you see how he hooked the man? Engaged and wheeled his hips around. That's a lot of ass, too, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. He can absorb that hit and be able to recoil and hit again. I love it. I love it. Look at this. Boom. He's just out physicaling guys. And once the Cowboys put some more meat on him and get him into his man body, oh, my goodness. It's going to be a thing of beauty. So that's what I have for you guys here on Tyler Smith. We're going to be taking a look at more and more of our players, especially some of the undrafted rookie free agents. The Dallas Cowboys, I think we're going to look back at this draft and say that this was truly a team-building draft with attitude. And I, for one, hope that the Dallas Cowboys become one of those teams that we don't give a rat's ass. We're coming to knock your ass out. And with that being said, I'll see you guys later.